Hi, I'm Susanna. Save the best for last at your next meal with our delightful raspberry pavlova. Very impressive dessert, but very easy to make. So I've started out by preheating my oven to 275. So let's get started here. In my bowl, I have a quarter cup of sugar, and to that, I'm gonna add one box of Jell-O raspberry flavored gelatin. This is gonna give the pavlova a really nice raspberry kick. And now let's stir this mixture to combine it. Give that a stir. You wanna make sure all that sugar at the bottom gets evenly mixed with the dry gelatin. There we go, that's looking good. And now we'll move over to my bigger bowl here. I have four egg whites, so I'm gonna turn on my mixer because I want to beat these until soft peaks form, and I'll show you what that looks like. We'll give it a quick check. And we are not quite there yet, just a little bit longer. And these are looking more like soft peaks. You can see when you lift it up, you have a little soft peak form with the egg whites. So now what we're gonna do is take this sugar gelatin mixture and we're gonna add one tablespoon at a time to our egg white mixture until stiff peaks form. So you can see the difference between a soft peak and a stiff peak, so I'll show you. So we'll just get one tablespoon, put that right in, and we'll get that mixer going. So these peaks look nice and stiff, so we're ready for our next step. So I have one teaspoon of lemon juice that we're gonna add in, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. And now we're just gonna give that a little mix. And you wanna make sure that when you prepare this, you definitely work on it on a cool day, definitely with no humidity, because humidity will cause this pavlova, the meringue, to get chewy. So now I am ready to put it on my parchment-lined baking sheet. So we're gonna put this meringue on our parchment-lined sheet, and we wanna form about an eight-inch diameter circle right in the middle, where it's so light and airy. We'll get the rest right out on there. Scrape those sides, that's what these spatulas are for. And we'll spread this out to that eight-inch diameter that we're looking for. So this looks perfect for thickness. We just want it nice and round. There we go. Perfect. And again, we wanna bake this at a low temperature, 275 degrees for an hour and a half, and then you wanna let it cool completely. The pavlova is completely cooled. I've transferred it onto a pretty serving plate. So now it's time to garnish it up, make it look even better. So I'm gonna start out by adding two cups of Cool Whip Whip topping. That's about two thirds of this container. So we're gonna put that right in the center. Spread that out in just a minute. Get that right on top. There we go. I have my nice offset spatula to be able to do that. Kind of gives itself a little ready-made center for you. Fill that up. Make sure that's even, looks pretty. Perfect. Now we have some fruit. Pavlova's always topped with fruit. You can really use any fruit. We're gonna use raspberry and kiwi today. So we have two cups of raspberries. I'm gonna put those pretty much right in the middle. These are gorgeous. Perfect. Now let's add that kiwi. This adds that great contrast in color. So pretty. Especially with the dark color of the seeds too. So nice. Look at that. And there you have it. Another fun and cool dessert with Jell-O. For more great recipes like this, visit jello.com.